Okay, now what I'm working with here is Crystal Audio Engine, and what I'll be showing you how to do is quickly add a WAV file and set your two mics to record. So what's going to happen is go here first, and this is your input panel, and go ahead and set this. We'll call this, you know, WAV file, and we'll set these two for the two mics we're going to be using. So this one will be headset, which is the clearer one and the camera which is going to be used for uh, clarity sh display so now that we have this um, named up here okay what we're going to do is we're going to import the file and you know for instance we'll pick uh, let's see here rhythm 2 okay now here you can see the file and it's actually you know you can zoom out and it gets a little bit long uh, we don't really need that much. We're only going to be using a little bit, so I'm going to go ahead and cut this. Now, what I will do here is I'm going to change the volume on the wave file, and I'm going to drop that down. So now, for editing purposes, you can go like this. You know, I mean, this is a kind of a quick way to do um, uh, some channel mixing on it. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the headset, which is this one, and I'll set this. Now you can shut off each one. Say someone's talking and they're, you know, getting up from the seat or something like that. You can actually hit this button and turn it off. Now, as you're playing when you're recording, you will see this coming across here. And if you want to fix someone's mic because you know they have a bad feedback, you go in here and you can play with the settings. Now, this is the toggle switch. This turns it on. This turns it off. And once you hit the uh, setting, you can pull that up to hit E. Now this is where you can play with the certain sounds and to give you an idea what I'm gonna do is going to record something with these settings on here and you'll see what happens okay I'm testing the microphones and show you how the effects work with the rhythm okay now this is what we're left with here so now when I go back I click this up top and I'll go ahead and hit play and this is what we get Okay, and I had the speakers down, so uh, it'll be a little bit louder next time. Anyways, so the rhythm itself is uh, a little bit too low, so let me turn that up a bit more and try that again. Okay, I'm testing the microphones and show you how the effects work. Okay, now that gives you a slight effect of how that works with the two of them together. So. To do anything else, you could do such as a fade, which is this function here, and it can quickly die down. And again, we'll turn this down just a little bit more, try and get it so this is a little bit quieter for us. Uh, I'm going to turn up this one, which, you know, this is, we'll do this here, which is a headset, and that would be down here, so we'll turn that one up. And we'll try playing again. Okay, I'm testing the microphones and show you how the Okay, and there you see how the fade effect works, and they're located on both sides. Now, if you want to cut something, say I want to only have a certain part of it, maybe get rid of the uh, whole front piece that is all feedback, I'm just going to go from here and cut that apart. And I'll just take this out and get rid of that part. So now I go to the start again and hit play, okay, and this is what we get. Okay. Now, out of the two microphones, is, there's different levels of quality. One of them has a little bit of feedback in it, and one of them doesn't. And to give you an idea, I'm going to turn the camera all the way up, and I'll turn down my other microphone all the way down. And this is what you're going to get. Okay, I'm testing the microphones and show you how the effects work with the rhythm. Okay. Now that is with the camera, which is low quality, and with this one, we'll go ahead and swap it around. This is with the headset, and is the much nicer quality. Okay, I'm testing the microphones and show you how the effects work with the rhythm. Now the only problem I have is, you know, obviously the sound issues, uh, you know, the volumes and such, which I can play with later, um, especially which would be in this window would have to do with room size, dampening, and all those other settings. Um, Typically, you know, each microphone has their own type of uh, settings you get to play with to get them to work best.
Other than that, once you have your full setup compiled and you know you can just click it and move it or adjust like this, what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and you're going to click this button to export your project after you've saved it and this is how you create your download.